hello and welcome and in today's episode an update on Saigon first ever subway system Ho Chi Minh City to finally ban loud outdoor music Vietnam adopting AG but not really and 50 shades of Saigonese styles during hot days so let's get moving Hello, this is Zhang, and if you are new to this channel, I'm from Yung Global's communication team, and you're watching Vietnam Weekly News, where we talk about and report everything happening in Vietnam at the moment. So if you like it, please give me a like and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updated information regarding to Vietnam. For those who have not known yet, Saigon is building its first ever subway system with a total investment of 470 trillion BND, which is roughly about 2 billion US dollars. The first metro line that started construction in 2012 and scheduled for completion in late 2021 will be 19.7 kilometers long, roughly 12.2 miles long. It will start at Benton Market and pass by the Municipal Theater of Ho Chi Minh City, which is a well-known area, and end at Depot Longburn of the City. Part of this great achievement comes with downsides such as construction covers around the city that have been hiding Saigon's charm and architectural heritage, as you can see with all those construction walls. Now, it has been reported that all of the fences around the Opera House on Le Loi Street and also from Nguyen Hai Street to Pasteur will be removed before April 30, after around nearly five years of metro construction. The Basong Station particularly is being accelerated by contractors to complete the subway floors, engineering and electromechanical finishes. Meanwhile, the contractor in charge is also speeding up the construction of the city theater station. The removal of the fences will allow Saigon to take back its natural beauty. As you can see from the street, a lot of noises from the buses, the cars and also the motorbikes are taking a toll in Vietnam. So Ho Chi Minh City will plan to get rid of it. Also, particularly the noise from residential area with karaoke places will be also be banned with some regulation as well. After being overwhelmed with complaints by angry residents about the noise issue, the city committee finally agreed to instate a maximum noise threshold. Võ Văn Hoàng, deputy chairman of Ho Chi Minh City People's Committee said the awareness raising campaign would last until May as the first phase of the test, which would include completing the legal policies to deal with noise violations. The second phase, from June until the end of the year, would involve finding noise violations in accordance with existing regulations on the issue. A government decree issued in 2013 imposes a fine for causing loud noises, making noises or commotion in residential areas or public places between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. National environmental standards allow a maximum noise threshold in normal areas like apartments, houses, offices and hotels of 70 dBA from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and 55 dBA from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. the following day. Expected to solve the issue by the end of this year, Ho Chi Minh City People's Committee Vice Chairman Võ Văn Hoàng said in the meeting to discuss handling noise pollution. The view of the city leaders is the determination to seriously handle noise in a residential area in accordance with the law. Adding that apartments should not allow for karaoke services because their living space are small and the music would affect a lot of people. So we will see if the new regulation is gonna get to the ear of the karaoke owners. Switching gear a little bit, I want to talk about Vietnam adopting AG. But it's not actually what you are thinking about, it's actually about climate change. On March 13, 
Vietnam's Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc stated AEG is sustainable development of the Mekong Delta. At the third meeting on sustainable development of the Mekong Delta adapting to climate change. As the Mekong Delta plays an important role of the country, being the largest agriculture area, the government has come up with new policy to develop the area, sum up with eight words, also known as the AG policy. The AG includes G, Yao, is to prioritize the development of irrigation and transport systems and infrastructure of the areas. G, Yao, is to focus on education and human resources development. G, Yang, is to focus on the Mekong Delta is a river region and the economy and livelihoods of the people here are associated with the rivers such as Bing River and Ho River. G, Yang, is to work on the connection between the government with the people, between people and businesses. G, Yao, is to actively attract rich people wealthy people, businesses with potentials to invest in local economic development. G. Yoi is to actively attract talent to contribute brain power and wisdom to the development of the Mekong Delta. G. Ye is to have proactive policies for the aging population and form a better social security network to support the welfare of the elderly and vulnerable. G. Yoi is to promote gender equality, access to job opportunity, and promote the role and position of women. Last but not least, I want to show you how Saigonese deal with hotness this day. So apparently the weather is very hot and the people, they have to wear a lot of protective clothes to protect them from the sun. With an average temperature of 36 degrees Celsius to 38 degrees Celsius, People are laying up wearing masks and multiple layers of hats or tight coats. Sunglasses and sun protective skirt have become a must-have item for many Saigonese to prevent UVs from touching their skin. And this fashion trend is called the ninja style. So and a lot of people who make a living on the street also suffer from the hotness. So leave a comment down below on how you think people should do to cool down during the summer. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, make sure that you like and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updated information regarding to Vietnam. And I see you in the next episode. Thank you.